Hello, my name is Andrew Leonard and I'm an engineer here at TLK Energy. I want to showcase to you one of our many free web tools, in this case a heat pump demo. And if you want to try this or one of our many other free web tools out, please check the links in the description. So what do you see here is a familiar heat pump cycle and we built this simulation through our Till Suite library and uploaded online through an FMU interface. And what such a web tool does is save customers like you time. By already having built, designed, and constructed a simulation, all you have to do is parameterize it to your liking and just simulate. So I'm going to do exactly just that with you. So we can, for example, change the water inlet temperature going into the condenser here to 31, and we could also change the water flow rate. And then we can click through the different components, such as here we can try clicking through the valve and change the degrees of superheating of the refrigerant coming out of the evaporator. We can click on the separator, change the volume or the initial filling level. So we see here if we change it, and it's then it's represented on the figure. We'll keep it on one liter. We can change the geometry of the compressor. So here we have different choices of compressor geometry, and we can go through with a large efficient compressor. And what that means is we have this given displacement and this given efficiency. We can also change the speed of the compressor. So we have a initial speed of 50 hertz. We can have it increased by 10 hertz. And we can have that increase, let's say, around 50 seconds into the simulation. And now we can just change how long the simulation runs for, so 150 seconds, and name it large compressor. And with that, we just have to hit simulate. We wait a tiny bit for the simulation to run. And with that, the results are ready for us to see. So now going through the results section of the large compressor simulation, we can see a multitude of data for us to view. We can see here, for example, the COP. And as we click through, all the values of the system change on the icon with that given point in time. We can also view a log pH diagram, a mass distribution of the system, and then we can start clicking through the different components of the system. So we see inlet outlet pressure, inlet outlet temperature, mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is very interesting because we see here 50 seconds of the simulation. When we tell the compressor to speed up, we see the mass flow rate also speeding up. We can go through the heat exchangers. We can see here the classic temperature distribution of a counterflow heat exchanger and also the power as well. We can click through the valve now. And again, we see the dynamics of the system here where the superheating temperature due to the compressor speeding up spikes up and then the controller brings it back down to a steady state and the set point temperature. And yeah, all your all the data you might need for your system can be easily viewed in our results section. Another great advantage of our web tools is to compare different systems and very easily and very efficiently. So imagine a design problem where we have the conditions of a heat pump uh, defined completely and we just have to decide between a geometry of compressor. And this is exactly what I did just now. I created a large compressor simulation and a small compressor simulation. All conditions are kept the same except the displacement of the compressor. And even the efficiencies of both compressors are comple uh, kept completely the same. So if you imagine it probably took us around 30 seconds to uh, set up one simulation, so for two simulations just a minute, and within one minute you can set up two simulations to compare the results of two different compressor geometries, which can eventually help you create good design decisions very fast and very efficiently and create the most ideal system for your use case. Here we can see how we compare the small compressor system to a large compressor system. If we overlay the results of COP, we can see that the COP of the larger of the small compressor system is significantly larger than that of the large compressor system, comparing a COP of around 4 to 2.7. And we can see here after the compressor speed change, the COP is still larger for the small compressor system. But however, for most uh, engineering decisions, it's not as simple and straightforward. Because we see here the heating power of the large compressor system is around a factor of two larger than a small compressor system. And we can also note such intricacies that when the compressor speed changes, the increase in heating power is significantly larger for the large compressor system than the small compressor system. So if you're designing for, for a, um, just for COP, we can see that we would choose a small compressor system. If we value heating power much more, we can see 
that uh, we would choose the large compressor system. And if we try to strike a balance between the two, well, we can try to find a geometry that strikes the balance by just setting up a humor simulations, which probably would just take a few minutes, and then comparing the different results. So yeah, thank you. My name is Andrew Leonard. I'm an engineer here at TLK Energy. And if you want to try out this web tool or one of our many other free web tools, please check the link in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you.